everything that has changed since the Duggar show's inception. When the Duggars were on TLC, it was simple to keep up with them. Fans were able to follow up with all of their favorite Duggars over the course of more than 200 episodes of 19 Kids and Counting, not to mention nearly 100 episodes of Counting On. They witnessed the Duggar children grow up, marry, build families and companies, and raise their own children. It was a relief for those who were worried how everything would turn out to watch the Duggar children grow up and become self-sufficient, especially when many began to distance themselves from what were viewed as warped family ideals. However, a lot has changed since the Duggar's show ended, from prison sentences to adoptions to Duggar's cutting ties with the family and quietly moving on. The Duggars originally appeared on TLC for a few specials prior to landing their own ongoing reality series. Viewers were clearly intrigued by the large family, who they watched homeschool their large brood while welcoming baby after baby nearly every year. In 2008, the Duggars got their own show, 17 Kids and Counting, which lasted until 2015, when it was 19 Kids and Counting. 17 Kids and Counting picked up when the Duggar family was nearly complete. Michelle Duggar would only welcome two more children and experience one pregnancy loss before the show ended. When the show began, now married Justin Duggar was barely seven, and the baby of the family was hardly a toddler yet. Jennifer was born in August 2007. The show picked up with Michelle's pregnancy with Jordan Grace, who was born in December 2008. Following then, the family began their path toward their 19th biological child, Josie. Viewers may recall Michelle's pregnancy with Josie, which terminated prematurely in December 2009, with Josie being a micro preemie. Michelle's final biological kid lived, the show documented her final pregnancy with Jubilee, a stillborn baby born in December 2011. Josh Duggar and Anna Keller's wedding was another notable family event that occurred at the start of the Duggars' show. The couple married in September 2008 in a wedding recorded for TLC. The Duggars series 19 Kids and Counting ended in 2015. But that wasn't the end of their time on reality TV. Counting On started the same year that 19 Kids and Counting ended, picking up where the other series left off. Instead of focusing on the Duggar children who remained at home, the series concentrated on Jill and Jessa and their increasing households. Michelle Duggar had finished bearing children at that point, thus moving the focus to the older kids' marriages and children made logical. Counting On was eventually ended in 2021 when Josh Duggar was caught of possessing inappropriate children's material. That is, of course, one significant difference between when the Duggar show began and when it ended. Fortunately, excellent things were in store for the family during the course of their TV appearances. For example, Josie's early health issues, including seizures, appeared to be something she grew out of. In recent years, Josie has been healthy and happy. While Josh and Anna's marriage may not have worked out, there were plenty of other siblings to catch up with throughout the years. When the episode first aired, viewers may have assumed that the siblings would marry off in succession. But that did not happen.